What is up guys, it's Kevro back in another video and today we're gonna go check out what's under the hood of the 240 because it's backfiring like crazy. A couple of days ago I was trying to make a video for you guys, um, a reaction from my girlfriend because it's her first time being in the car. I looked it up on YouTube and also the forums and it could be the mass airflow sensor or the timing um, or the TPS but we'll see I'm gonna check the mass airflow sensor first and if not it might be the timing I was running for nearly and when I drove the car with my girlfriend um, I kind of spit flames a little bit but um that's pretty bad <laughs> so let's get started on this let's do this So the MAF sensor should always be right next to the air filter. Um, I don't know any car that has the mass airflow sensor and the air filter in different places, but yeah, it's right next to it. Mine's right here. Let's go take this bad boy off and clean it. So instead of actually cleaning this, I'm going to replace it instead because it looks fucking fucked up. Look at that. Damn. So what we're gonna do now is go to O'Reilly's real quick because I just said that this shit's fucked up. Look at that. Look at that. So hopefully they have something similar to this, a KN one. We dope they do. If they don't, then sad day, bro. But um, yeah, hopefully they have. <clears throat> shit. If we have something similar to this, if they don't, then I'm gonna cry like a little bitch. But I'm still gonna clean the mass airflow sensor. Um. I'm not gonna reuse this for sure because this shit's. I don't know what the fuck happened to this. It looks like fucking hamster or like 10 hamsters started chewing on this shit. Many tic tacs later. Here's a new one that I just recently got from O'Reilly's. See, look at the color difference. I still use the KN oil filter cleaner for this every time it gets dirty. But hopefully it doesn't get like this. This shit's fucked up. I don't even know what happened to this, man. New to the old. Old to the new. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Hamtaro like, started chewing on this, man. So this is actually my first time doing this. Um, from what I watched on YouTube, you spray it 10, 15 times with the CRC, uh, Master Airflow Sensor Cleaner, and then you let it dry completely. Um, you spray the hot wire, which is what measures how much air goes in, I guess inside your intake. But when you do this, um, you don't want anything touching the hot wire because it may fuck it up. Damn, this shit is fucking filthy. Should I just get a new one? Nah, too cheap. Amazian. I don't know if you guys can actually see, but I'm just gonna spray it like 10, 15 times. Um, short burst, so. So now we're just gonna wait for it to dry um because that's what everyone said to do 10 15 minutes max or for it to dry fully and then we're gonna put it back on the car if it runs well or better then hooray i did something right for once <laughs> yeah let's wait so as we wait for it to dry i'm actually gonna install the led headlights that i 
just recently got. Um, they're pretty dope. All right. So here's one of the headlights that I got. Um, it's LED and it's also plug and play to the 240. So it's pretty dope. Hopefully it works just by plugging it. Took the liberty of taking the stock headlights off already. Not that bad. There's four bolts that hold the little cover on, and then another four bolts that to remove the little bracket that hold the headlight. Same thing on the other side. So, like I said, these are just plug and play. So you just literally just plug them and then just turn on. So let's put them in and test them out. So after you test these out, you basically just want to place everything back together, put this little bracket back, and then put the little holder in place, or the little cover in place, and then you're good to go. So I just finished installing the LED headlights, this is what it looks like. So everything's back on the car, the intake and the mass air flow sensor is on. Um, and I just start it up and see where it goes. And test drive it. Seriously need to wash this shit though. Uh, so we are in the race car right now and I don't know how it's gonna be. So it smells amazing here though. Shout out to Happy Endings um, for sending in this sexy ass. Air freshener. That looks pretty good. So shout outs to Happy Ending once again. I'll leave a link somewhere in the top left corner. Dope. Everything's back on, like I said. Time to test drive this. Hopefully everything works out fine. If not, GG.
couple minutes ago and the car is running pretty well um, there are times when it keeps bogging um, I'll show you in the footage um, or it should be in the fo footage um, but other than that it runs pretty well it hits boost really nice it's not backfiring like crazy anymore it just bogs like crazy before I actually end this video I actually have this that I will be installing in the next video it's a P2M Go Pack that will be replacing my old one my old OEM one I should also change my spark plugs with this and hopefully everything runs better and smoothly after that but um, thank you guys so much for watching have a great day have a great week stay safe y'all deuces be sure to check out all my other videos like and subscribe later